what's up everybody? It's Corey Bacon, aka The Cut Coach. And today I want to share what I do behind the chair when it comes to sealing the deal and finishing up my haircuts. If you've ever been to the barbershop and had a nice tight cut, a shave, or a tattoo in your undercut, you know that sometimes the barber will end the service with a fiery, burning spray of either alcohol or aftershave. And, you know, I've never liked that experience, and I think in the modern era, we should be able to do better. And so does JPMS and Paul Mitchell. We end our service with a wonderful cooling experience that we find in the aftershave, the cooling aftershaves, or in the skin tonic. And in this model that I'm doing, Aiden, I use both. Check it out. So I start Aiden off with a quick corn braid technique using Maverick's original pomade to help me lay down the hair and get control before starting to do a skin fade. I begin the fade by creating a design line using my trimmer. I like to keep my design line clean with complementary shape. I then start to remove bulk and blend with my number two guard. Then working down the series of guards, creating my blend out until I'm using the clipper without any guard at all. Short, small hand movements are the key here. Not overcutting and keeping your concentration only in the area that you want to cut, not removing anything that you've already blended, and ultimately raising that line up. So staying small is key, patient, and trusting your process. Using the corner of the blade to chip away any dark spots is key. Also, having a brush handy to brush away any previous cut hair. For a real skin feel, using a straight razor or foil shaver is great. A foil shaver actually gets closer than a straight razor because it actually lifts the hair from the root for cuts that smooth to the touch. The hair has to be at least one millimeter short for it to work and it can cause irritation if not used properly. Notice how I feather the foil shaver onto the head and short soft movements. I want my guests to have the best experience possible. I go in for the details now. The hairline, eyebrows, and any ear hair if it's there. A steady hand, keen eye, and humility is needed for a crisp lineup. Pushing it back can be bad for any guest. And for the finish, we have skin tonic to refresh and energize the skin and cooling aftershave with barley seed extract to counteract any irritation or razor bumps. I start off by spraying the skin tonic directly onto Aiden's skin with a light mist. I allow some of the tonic to absorb into the skin and then spray some more. The agave and citrus scent is appealing and the tingle on the skin gives a clean feeling to the skin shave. 
The trigger on the bottle responds to pressure, so if I want a stronger stream, I squeeze harder. I massage some of it in and wipe away any excess before applying the cooling aftershave. It has a gel consistency, so it goes right where I want it, and I massage it directly to the areas I want to give a cool feeling and protect from razor irritation. I wipe away any excess and dust off Aiden with some light powder, and he's done. So that was cool to the finish, moisturizing and invigorating, and made Aiden's skin clean, feel refreshed with no irritation. That's what I'm shooting for every time. Every time I finish my guests, I wanna give them the same exact wonderful experience from beginning to end, and I'm able to do that with the help of Paul Mitchell, Maverick, Skin Tonic, and Cooling Aftershave. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like it, like it. Subscribe and follow for more great information from the folks at John Paul Mitchell Systems.